We should have a strategy, I think, today. Like what kind of strategy? We're good at the distraction one, like the misdirection. Like a gossip thing? Like we'll tell them we'll just make up nonsense stories and like maybe get them pumped on the units we don't want. I like it. I'm in. I Let's like do it. it. Yeah. We've become really um, boring. Yeah, dull. Yeah, we're dull. You for sure. I don't know. <laughs> me not so much, but. Here we go, Kai's got a five by five. Oh, geez. And I'm looking for vintage cool treasures, but I don't think this is it. That's a big sleeping bag, then. I like that, but you know what? It's not enough stuff for All me. All right, I got That's a cool ice chest. I've never seen Speaking one. of ice chest. It's warm up there. All right. We can put this online. It's all small, so it's easy. You can ship it. You know, the wine fridge, we can just put wine in that. I mean, I think our biggest competition in this is going to be Ivy. Time for some misdirection. All righty, guys. What are you saying? $100. How about 20 pine? Focus. Focus. I mean, tell me about it. 30. Did you get a new recliner? Was it comfortable? I feel like I sat in it, but I don't remember. Did I sit in the chair? $70. 100 bucks. Is that Jared Biddy? Got you. Who the f is this guy? And how dare he address me by my first name? Our misdirection may have just misdirected us right in the right direction. I don't think there's any value in that. Not the marshmallow roasters? OK. What is this? I don't know. Take it out. What is it? Is it a clock? No, it's a knife sharpener. What? Yeah, look how cool that is. Perfectly, I mean, sorry, the perfect edge instantly. Let's... Banker's knife sharpener. 20s, maybe? We might have to have that thing checked I out. I think that so. Awesome. It's kind of neat. All right, what else you got? TV stand. It's a little banged up. We're going to end up just trashing it because we're selling smalls right now. All right. And then whatever this thing is worth. And whatever that's worth. Our cut in this locker isn't great. So that sharpener better carve out a better profit. I don't know what it is or how it works, but I can tell you that I'm probably going to keep it. No, you're not. <laughs> Ding dong. We're at Ross Cutlery to see if Richard and Jennifer can tell us how much our knife sharpener is worth. Actually, we're here at Ross Cutlery so I can get a new blade. This is the uh, contraption that we talked about. Knife sharpener, we think it is. Mm, it is. What can you tell us about it? Well, it's very old, probably from the 1920s. Wow. So missing some parts. The stones? Yeah, I on was both wondering sides. how they sharpened it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, mm. How would it work? We'd put your stones in here where the springs are. Oh, it's long ways like that? Yeah. And then you'd have them all the way across. And then when so you get all the stones in, you would pull the knife through. And then you could adjust this side? Yeah, this is part of the uh, whole adjustment. Yeah. Does it hurt the value to be missing the stones? No, stones would be easy to get. They're replaceable, yeah? Yeah. 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 They're interchangeable. Yeah. But it's really nice. OK. With all that being said, what do you think this thing's worth? In this condition, probably about a 250 250 bucks? Oh, Better than a poke in the eye. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. <laughs> With a sharp knife. What can I get for 250 well, let me show you. Let's look. All right. There goes our profit. Maybe Jared could take a stab at getting us a better locker next time. Come on, I think we got a good deal. Let's go. Yeah. Hear me. Yeah. I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world.